Hey friends and welcome back to another video. This one will be fairly short as I'll be going over four different methods to include maths and chemistry equations on Tanki, from the easiest to the hardest. As always, timestamps will be in the description, so do check those out during the video. So by far the easiest method is either by taking screenshots or by copying images. So if I were to search something like quadratic formula, then I could just select this image over here, press copy, and then paste it over here, and then write something like quadratic formula and add that flashcard. Or if I had like a chemistry equation, then I could uh, use the snipping tool on Windows uh, by pressing Windows Shift S and then select this area and then let go and then press uh, Control V again to paste. And I could write something like reduction of hydroxynitriles to amines and then press Control Enter to make that a flashcard. Now the second method is by using superscripts and subscripts and there's actually a superscript and subscript tool uh, built in Tanki so if I were to write like A2, B2 then I could uh, select the first two and then press this to superscript it and then press the second one to subscript that. So if I were to use an example such as a uh, quadratic equation then I could write AX uh, squared plus bx plus c equals zero. And this two over here, I can press the sub, uh, superscript tool to superscript that and then just press add. Now, if I were to write a chemical equation, that would be a bit more difficult. So if I wrote equation for cellular respiration, then that would be the metabolism of glucose, which is C6H12O6 uh, plus O2, and then uh, if we want a right arrow, then what I actually do is go to Google, search right arrow symbol, and then uh, just click on one of the websites. And here we have a right arrow, so just uh, copy that and then paste it into here. And then we can carry on and write CO2 plus H2O. Now we need to use uh, subscript some of these and if we hover over this we can see the subscript shortcut is C uh, and equal sign so if I were to write control and equals and then control select this press controls equal control equal again and then just repeat that over and over and if I wanted to uh, make a superscript then I'd press control shift equals and now make a, a, a superscript, but let's just make a subscript again by pressing Control equal, and then just press add again. Now, searching up symbols is actually quite neat. So if I would search like a lambda symbol, then I could also find uh, the symbol over here, copy that. And if I were to write uh, something like a speed of a wave, then that would be C equals F lambda. And this is actually bold, so let's unbold it. So uh, the speed of a wave is the frequency times a wavelength, and then press add. So the third method is by using an online equation editor, such as this one, um, which will be linked down below. So if I were to use fractions, then you can see uh, if I click on this fraction symbol over here, then it inserts a fraction. And if I fill in these uh, curly braces, then you can see I get A over B. And if I write like equals C, uh, to the power of d, then you can see it's appearing over here. And if I wanted to make this bigger, then I would just choose a bigger font size and then either download the image or the, press uh, Control sh Shift S for the snipping tool again, and then just uh, paste this in Tanky again. So that's one way of writing custom equations, which you don't find often or you can't really Google too easily. So if you click on some of the equations over here like this or this, then you see more symbols appearing over here and this is actually a typesetting language called LaTeX and it's quite easy to learn uh, the basics of it. There'll be a link down below for anyone interested but it's very powerful because you can write almost anything using it. So for the fourth and final method rather than writing LaTeX into here and then copying the image we can also write it directly into Anki. So there's something called uh, MathJax. So we have three types. We have MathJax block we have math, inline math jacks and math jacks chemistry. So if we choose inline math jacks, that basically means it appears on the same line. So we see that we have these two um, 
things appearing after we click the button. Uh, and this is an opening area of the Math Jackson line, and this is a closing area. So if I write something like uh, AX to the power of 2 plus BX plus C equals 0, then this, is, this will actually render out in a similar style to this uh, using LaTeX. And you can see how it renders by pressing cards. And then on cards, you can press a back template, and you can see how this has rendered out. Um, and if we wanted to write something alongside it, like is the quadratic formula, then you can see if we go back over here and view it, then it's the same, it's all on the same line because this is a MathJax inline. Now, if we insert MathJax block, then uh, go over here, do MathJax block. Uh, you can see it's a similar way of writing it, um, the opening and closing, but instead of curly brackets, we have square brackets. So if I were to actually turn this into max MathJax block, then turn that into square bracket, turn that into square back bracket. And now block means that it's going to appear on its own line. Uh, so this is actually going to be moved onto a new line. So if I go to cards, press back template, and then you can see even though over here I wrote on the same line, uh, this appears, uh, the equation appears on its own line because it's a block. So writing complicated equations can get pretty difficult quite quickly. So if I wanted to write out this equation, sure I could write it out, but it'd take me quite a while to search up the notation um, and stuff like that. So I instead use a tool called MathPix, and this is a nice tool uh, because you get a number of snips for free. Um, and I can see some of the things I've snipped before um, and what it does, it converts it into uh, LaTeX. So if I press download the program and then press this, then select what I want it to convert into uh, LaTeX and then let go. So you can see it's converted into LaTeX over here and there's a confidence meter for how confident the program thinks it uh, that this is right. So if I choose a first version and then click it to copy it, and then in this section, I want this to be on its own block. Uh, press paste, and then let's remove this is a quadratic formula part. And then if I go back to cards, go to back template, then you can see this has uh, rendered out quite nicely from the LaTeX, which I put in into the Anki page. Now, the only issue with math picks is that if you go to the website and you go to pricing, then you can see you only get a free uh, certain number of snips free each month. And if you're a student and you use school email, then you get 100 free each month, which is usually more than enough. Uh, but if you want even more free, then you can sign up to MathPix using the referral code in the description. And I think we get about 100 extra free. But if you end up converting a lot of equations, then it's probably worth buying the MathPix Pro. And if you're tired of pressing cards and going to back template to see how the LaTeX looks rendered out, then what you can do on MathPix is that you can copy uh, whatever LaTeX you want, go to write area, and then paste this into here. And you can see updating live as you write out. So if I just add more things onto here, then it updates live, and then I can press save if I want to as well. And then just copy this back into this nice block. Now you can do something very similar to write chemistry. If you don't want to copy chemistry equations from Google Images or a textbook or something, then you can go to this hamburger icon over here and then press Math Jax Chemistry. And inside here, you can write out uh, the chemistry equation you want. So here is a Math Jax Chemistry cheat page, which I'll link down below in the description. And if I were to copy out this equation uh, and then paste it into here, then uh, press cards, uh, back template, then you can see this has rendered out quite nicely. And if I chose something a bit more complicated, I don't know, I don't know like this, uh, then uh, pasted that into here instead, press cards again, press back template, then you can see this is a more complicated equation which it's copied out. And just reading through this page, hopefully you get an idea for how it works. And it's quite intuitive as well, so like if you wanted to have a reaction that can go either way, then you can just write out this instead and all that sort of jazz. Anyways, that's basically it. You've learned a few different ways you can add math and chemistry equations to Anki. If you found the video useful, then leave a like. If not, leave a dislike and do let me know why. Otherwise, I may see you next video.